Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the PICA Tracer activity comparing RIP and EIGRP path selection. Here is our objectives of this PICA Tracer activity. Uh, in part 1, predict the path. In part 2, trace the route. And in part 3, reflection questions. We will go through the scenario given here, PCA and PCB need to communicate the path that the data takes between these entity devices can travel through r1 r2 and r3 or it can travel through r4 and r5 the process by which routers select the best path depends on the routing protocol we will examine the behavior of two distance vector routing protocols that is enhanced interior gateway routing protocol eigrp and routing information protocol version 2 that is rip v2 so coming to the topology here we can see when we communicate from pca to pcb the path that the data takes between uh, these entity devices is uh, r1 r2 r3 or maybe r4 r5 so that is depending on the uh, protocol uh, what we are going to set we will come to uh, part two one predict the path so metrics are factors that can be measured routing protocols are each designed to consider various metrics when considering which route is the best to send data along these metrics include hop count bandwidth delay reliability path cost and more right so coming to step one consider eigrp metrics in that a EIGRP can consider many metrics by default however bandwidth and delay are used to determine the best path selection right so based on the metrics what path would you predict data would take from PCA to PCB yes so when we consider the protocol EIGRP uh, here they clearly mentioned uh, we are considering bandwidth and delay Coming to topology here, we can see through this route, we have uh, more bandwidth than uh, this path. So obviously the communication from PCA to PCB happens through, uh, happens through PCA, RA, R1, R2, R3, RB to PCB. Now we will come to uh, step 2, consider RIP metrics. So what metrics are used by uh, RIP? Yes, we know uh, for the RIP, we are using a hop count. Based on the metrics, uh, what path would you predict data would take from PCA to PCB? Here we can see uh, compared to uh, this path, here we have uh, two uh, routers. Here we have three routers. So obviously when we communicate uh, from PCA to PCB, uh, when we consider uh, RIP, uh, it goes through PCA, RA, R4, R5, rb and then pcb now we will come to uh, part two trace the route step one examine the eigrp path on ra view the routing table using the appropriate command which protocol codes are listed in the table and to what protocols do they represent using the show command show ip route uh, we will view the routing table of ra Coming to RA, CLI, enable, here we are going to give a show IP route and here we can see the details. Here we can see the characters C and D. C is for connected and D is for EIGRP. Coming to B, trace the route from PCA to PCB. Right, so we will get the IP address of PCB. IP config we will copy this address coming to PCA desktop command prompt here we are going to give tracer Yes, so here we can see uh, 64.100.0.254, 64.1.1.0.2, 64.1.1.0.3, 64.1.1.0.4, 64.1.1.0.5, 64.1.1.0.6, 64.1.1.0.7, 64.1.1.0.8, 64.1.1.0.9,
64.101.0.6, what path does the data take? Yes, here we have seen that. Uh, here we can see the details till here. This is the address uh, we given for the tracer. I mean the IP address of PCB, right? So how many hops away is the destination? Okay, right. If you count this yourself, we can see one, two, three, four, and five. So obviously five hops. What is the minimum bandwidth on the path? Right. So here itself uh, they mentioned the minimum uh, bandwidth uh, for Mbps. Four MB per second, right? Now we will come to uh, step two. Examine the RIP v2 path. You may have noticed that while RIP v2 is configured, the routers ignore the routes that it generates because they prefer EIGRP. Cisco uh, routers use a scale called administrative distance, and we need to change that number for uh, RIP v2 in RA to make the router prefer the protocol. For reference purposes, uh, show the routing table of RA using the appropriate command. What is the first number between the brackets in each EIGRP uh, root entry? Right, we will verify that. Coming to RA, yes, here itself uh, we can uh, see that the first number between the brackets in EIGRP, yes, here we can see that it's 90. Coming to B, uh, set the administrative distance for a RIP v2 using the following commands. Uh, this forces RA to choose RIP uh, routes over EIGRP routes. So we have to set this command router RIP distance 89. Right, we will do it on the router RA. Coming to the router RA. Right here, configure terminal router rip here we are going to set the distance 89 coming to C wait a minute and show the routing table again which protocol codes are listed in the table and what protocols do they represent right we will come to RA enable show IP root Oh, here we can see now it's a C and R. C is for connected and R is for a, a RIP. Coming to a D, trace the route from PCA to PCB again, right. Uh, what path does the data take, right? We have to verify that. We will come to PCA. Again, we are going to trace to 64.103.0.1 and here we can see now we got a different way here we can see compared to i mean uh, now selected a different route here we can see that uh, 64.100.0.254 64.102.0.2 64.102.0.6 64.101.0.14 and here is the uh, PC address uh, 64.103.0.1. How many hops away is the destination? Uh, here itself in this uh, tracer itself here we can see uh, it's a one, two, three, four. Yes, uh, four hops away. And in the topology also we can see one, two, three, four. Right. So what is the minimum bandwidth on the path? Uh, it's here we can see one point two. Uh, kb uh, per second right coming to e what is the first number between the brackets in each rip entry right we will verify that coming to ra yes here we can see that it's 89 on all uh, uh, rip here we can see it's 89 now we will come to uh, part three uh, reflection questions First one, what metrics does the RIP v2 routing protocol ignore? Obviously everything uh, but except hops. How could this affect its performance? So here uh, the answer will vary. 
because the rip will ignore a faster bandwidth path. Coming to the second question, what metrics does the EIGRP routing protocol ignore? Yes, it's hopes. How could this affect its performance? Here also the answer will vary. It is conceivable that a packet could be dropped if it travels more hops than its TTL value allows. Coming to the third question, uh, which do you prefer for your own internet access, lower hops or more bandwidth? Right, uh, here it's an open-ended question. Uh, you, you may select RIP version 2 or EIGRP. Most people may select EIGRP uh, because of a better bandwidth. Right, so coming to the fourth question, is one routing protocol suit suitable for all applications? Why? Right, this is also uh, a kind of open-ended question. Uh, it may be or may not be. Friends, that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, that is comparing RIP and EIGRP path. And friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.